dear students today i am going to discuss on the topic iron age cultures of india particularly iron associated with painted gray wire black and red wire and megaliths let me first introduce about this topic in human history iron heralded a new era as these technological know how brought about changes in almost every sphere of life in fact Iron technology has played an important role in the clearance of forests and spread of agricultural settlement or second phase of urbanization in the Ganga Valley. Iron smelting technology marked the end of the Stone Age and spurred urbanization in the Indian landmass. In peninsular India, iron was instrumental in digging wells and irrigation tanks in hard rock. terrain and also in quarrying rocks for building megalithic monuments now come to the next point iron metallurgy a well developed tradition of pyrotechnology including copper smelting existed in india from the harappan times which may lead to accidental discovery of iron from iron rich copper ore it may be pointed out that iron has been recovered from a few bronze age site of south asia further the use of chalcopyrite as a copper ore at ahar could have led to accidental production of iron from pyrite iron working tradition varies from region to region Metallurgical analysis saw that iron objects made were often of a very high quality. Circular furnaces from Naikun, Atranjikara and Losawa Mound saw exploitation of manganiferous belt and iron yielding areas. Now let's come to the next point beginning of iron in India. In the beginning the origin of iron working in India was dated to around 700 to 800 BC. Later C14 dating at a number of sites pushes back its antiquity to around 1000 BC. Carbon 14 dating of the iron bearing deposits of Atranjikara Halu, Kaukshambi, Nagra, and Iran have produced early dates of 1300 BC at these sites. Recently, early dates have also been obtained from Jusi, Nalkatila, Malha, Dadapu, and No. Further analysis of iron objects from material like Carman Hali dated to about 1000 BC so that the iron smith had great technical skill implying a much earlier introduction of iron technology however the emergence of iron has not been uniform in various regions of india it now appears that iron made an earlier beginning at the sites like gujarat no aha and bindas at around 1300 BC recent studies suggest an even earlier appearance of iron technology in india which is contemporary with the earliest dates in other parts of the world now let's comes to the origin of iron working there are contrary opinions with regard to the origin of iron working in india some scholars have suggest diffusion and migration from the ways of nomadic indo-aryan from steppe soviet central asia and iran however many scholars including sakrabati have challenged this theory of diffusion of iron technology on the basis of different characters of iron age in different zones Many scholars have opined that perhaps iron arose independently in more than one center. 
Further, iron seems to have been in use in different parts of the country by around 1000 BC, which also suggests an independent rather than a rapid diffusion. Now let's come to the next point, archaeological culture of early Iron Age in India. Iron technology seems to have made its first appearance almost simultaneously in different parts of the subcontinent between 1000 to 800 BC. First, it appears with painted grey wire in the upper Ganga plain and secondly iron appears with black and red wire in the middle and lower Ganga plains and lastly it appears with the megalithic culture in Vidarbha and peninsular India. Now let us discuss on the painted grey wire culture also known as PGW. Krishna Deva and Mortimer Wheeler were the first to define painted grey wire from Ahishatra in 1946. But it was Bibi Lal's excavation at Hastinapur which highlighted its importance. Since then, a number of sites have been discovered of which more than 30 sites have been excavated. Painted grey wire is the first culture which is associated with iron objects in large scale. Besides, furnaces and slags such as iron smelting. Now come to the next point, distribution. Painted grey wear sites are distributed over a wide area from Bawalpur in Pakistan and North Rajasthan to Uttar Pradesh in the east and up to Ujjain in the south. They are mostly concentrated in the Indo Gangetic Divide, Sutles Basin, and Upper Ganga Jamuna Dwarf. Important painted grey wear sites include. Ulas, Mathura, Atranjikhera, Ahishatra, Kampil, Kanaus, Hastinapur, Alangirpur, Bairat, No, Panipat, Bhagawanpur, Rupar, and Puranakila. Now let's move to the next point that is the material culture, particularly about the ceramics. Painted grey wire is a standardized wheel thrown wire made out of well navigated clay on a pass wheel. It has a core and a smooth grey to a grey surface produced by firing under reducing conditions. Most common shapes are shallow tray and deep bowls with straight dishes with curve and jugger that is curved bases. It is painted in black with limited motifs, particularly geometric motifs and swastikas. Now let's come to other types of artifacts. Other ceramics associated with painted grey wear include black and red wear without paintings, black sleeve wear, plain grey wear, and coarse red wear. Variety of objects made of copper, iron, and bone were found in excavation. Besides bits of terracotta, a gate, jasper, carnelian, chalcedony, lapis lazuli, and human figurines were also found from different sites. Now let's come to the next point, metallurgy. Iron technology received its boost and it became dominant in no, particularly at a higher level. Furnishes and slags have been recovered from Atranjikhera, Hulas and Zakhera, suggesting iron smelting at the sites. 
Now come to the next point structure. It is characterized by mud houses made of wattle and duff, evidence from patches of burnt earth, mud bricks, pieces of mud plaster with reed and bamboo, impressions from Ahishatra, Hasinapura, Atranjikhera, and Jakhera. Only at Bhagawanpur, in the late phase, back brick structure was unearthed along with 13 room complex corridor between rooms and courtyard. The next point is subsistence. Rice from Hastinapur and wheat and barley from Atranjikhera are recovered as plant remains and as animal remains, horse, cattle, pig, goat, and deer, particularly wild and domesticated, are found. It shows a simple and modest economy with evidence of cultivation but with no coinage or script. The next point is trade and actions. Presence of beads of semi-precious stones at sites in the dwarf indicates long distance threat. Now come to chronology. On the basis of carbon-14 dates, it is estimated to fall between 900 to 500 calibrated BC. Thermoluminescence that from Fulas, Alangipur push the antiquity further. The next point is origin. Since many of the painted grey weir sites are mentioned in the Mahabharata, there is a view that painted grey weir culture represents the second wave of Aryan migration and we are same as the Mahabharata people. Now let's come to the second phase that is black and red wear associated with the Iron Age culture of India. Black and red wear has been found in many contexts ranging from Harappan in Gujarat to megalithic of South India but in these sites it was found in a characteristic context. Now let's see about the distribution. Black and red wear is distributed over eastern Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh with local and regional variations. It is important to note at this point that black and red wear with some variation from region to region has a wide distribution. It occurs from Rupar in the north to Adisnalur in the south and from Amma and Lakhavare in the west to Pandu Razar Divi in the east. Now let's come to the material culture, particularly ceramics. The characteristics of black and red wear are usually a wheel thrown wear made of fine clay. It is well backed with a fine fabric and till ones. It has a characteristic blackish core and a rim and a red exterior surface resulting from inverted firing, giving it the name black and red wire. The usual shapes represented are bowls and dishes. Now let's move to other point that is other artifacts. Other artifacts are copper, beads and ring, comb fragment made of bone, stone chiefs, blades, waste flags and a course of words, a gate and chalcedony along with beads of semi-precious stones. Now let's come to the next point, chronology. Most scholars place this culture from 800 to 700 BC, but thermoluminescence dating of ceramics from Atranjikhera places this culture at about 1450 to 1200 BC. Dear students, now I would like to conclude at this point and next time let us discuss on the megalithic culture associated with the Iron Age 
culture of India. Thank you.